Shalom everyone. Welcome to weekly devotion with Sema Masi. Welcome to the month of May. I can't believe that we are in May. May is very special. We have two celebrations in May. One is celebrating Mother's Day, and second is celebrating the Pentecost Sunday. We all know that celebrating Mother's Day is we are honoring our mothers, and also we are giving thanks to the Lord for our mothers. Amen. So number two celebration is Pentecost Sunday. So what is Pentecost Sunday? Pentecost Sunday is we count it back from the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So Jesus resurrected from the death. And then he was on earth for 40 days. He was showing to all the disciples, all the people, that he is alive. After 40 days, Jesus returned to heaven alive. Then Jesus, before he went back to heaven, he told the disciples to wait on the Holy Spirit. He will come to all the disciples. So after 40 days, Jesus went back to heaven. All the disciples waited on the Holy Spirit. So after 10 days. The Holy Spirit came upon all the people who were waiting in the upper room. So that is called Pentecost Sunday. So it is very special in our Christian walk with God. Amen. So this month we are going to talk about the Holy Spirit. It is so important. I want to introduce you about the Holy Spirit. Amen. So this week I want to say a huge, happy, wonderful Mother's Day to all the wonderful mothers in the whole world. Thank you so much for all the moms, and I want to acknowledge all those people who lost uh, mothers. I am one of them. So I lost my mother since I was young, and it is hard to go through this week. But I pray that the Lord will be with you, and I pray that God is your father, God is your mother. Amen. God is with you every single day of your life. So this week, I want to encourage you from Proverbs. I love this Bible verse from Proverbs, chapter thirty-one, verse thirty. It says that charm is deceptive. And beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Amen, amen. I love that. We all love to hear praises from people, and you know that people tend to praise based on your outer appearances. But we need to know that God looks at our inner heart. Sometimes it is so hard that how can I gain outer beauty as well as inner beauty? The Bible clearly say that. If you fear God, if you are honoring God with your life, then you are beauty in your heart. Amen. That's why we should look after our outer appearances, and also we should really look after and cultivate our inner beauty as well. The best thing you can have inner beauty is by trusting God, obeying God, and fear the Lord. Amen. I hope this encourages your walk with the Lord. Fear God, obey Him, and you will have the beauty that you are longing for. Amen. God bless you all. I'll see you next week.